is definitely one way to start the afternoon. As you guys can see, I just got out here and had a little look-see at the tractor. And you can see I got a soft spot there. This has been going flat on me over the last few days. I'll have to investigate what the deal is here. Don't really want to buy new tractor tires at this point, but I guess on the bright side, it's not a filled tire like the back one. So we're not going to leak anything out except some air. Let's add that to the to-do list, but not today's to-do list. What I'm going to show you guys is sort of where we're at with one of the most recent projects. And you can sort of see it over my left shoulder here. Here's a toy shed slash equipment shed. Up until this point, we've been sort of doing some framing. We've been putting down some floorboards and standing up some posts. What I've got for this that I've cut most recently is some beams because that's sort of next on the project list. You guys can see the beams here. These beams got to go up there, but they're not going there today. I got something else in mind. Today, it's quite warm out in the sun and the bugs are biting and I just want to do something a little bit different. And with a long to-do list, that's uh, quite easy to find something different to do. I can just go and look at that list. What we have here in front of you is what we're tackling today. What you can see here is three of the attachments for the front end loader of my tractor. You guys can see right here, here's my 72 inch material bucket. Here behind it is my 66 inch root rake, which has got the grapple attached to it. And you can see we've got the pallet forks on here. This right here is what we're tackling. We're gonna make some sparks today and do a bit of welding. And before you guys say anything, just take note of this. I'm not a professional welder out there, so don't take this as a tutorial. You guys can watch me weld and I'll tell you what I'm doing, but don't go out there and weld something and rely on it being the uh, strongest weld in the world. At least if you learned it from me. What we're welding is these things right here. This right here is a uh, chain hook. This I've had for quite some time and you can sort of tell by the back there, there's some surface rust on that. This has been uh, on the to-do list for quite some time. As I mentioned, today's actually the day we're gonna take care of it. I'm gonna weld this on the top of the bucket. I'm also gonna weld one of these on the bottom of the grapple and likewise one on the bottom of the forks. If you guys have ever been out anywhere doing stuff and you had one of these attachments on and you needed to pick something up with a chain, well, you know how frustrating it is trying to get a chain to hook on here, especially if you have a long length of chain. Instead of wrapping it around the bucket like 50 times when you got a long chain, sorry, a bug. What you can do is you can use one of these hooks and then you can grab on any link in that chain you want, lift up the object and away you go. So that's what we're tackling today. I'm just trying to figure out the best placement because I only have four of these. I think in a perfect world, I'd have a whole bunch more of them, but I think for now we'll just stick with a few of them, get them, gosh, darn bug, darn thing distracted me. I think for now, as I was saying, we're just gonna weld on the few that we have and uh, see how it works out. Put it into action and see what works. So got the old trusty arc welder out here today. What I have is I actually have two welders. I've got this old thing, which is probably older than I am. This is a 220 volt arc welder or stick welder as many of you guys will call it. I've got this old unit and I've also got a little flux core welder, you know, the 110 volt units you can buy from the uh, local building center. Well, that thing works good, but I prefer the arc welder for this. For this, I'm gonna crank up the amps nice and hot. I wanna make sure I get a real good weld on there because let's face it, when I put one of those hooks on one of these attachments and I hook a chain onto it, the last thing I want to happen is for that chain to pull that hook straight off. So we're burning it hot today. I'm glad you guys are all out here. Let's get down to work. Well guys, bug season's in full, uh, full force here. <laughs> and you're not gonna be doing a lot outside. Uh-oh. Oh. You're not gonna be doing a lot outside in bug season, at least not comfortably, without some of this stuff. I hate putting it on, but that's the reality. Okay, well, let's measure where we're gonna put this. I think what I've decided is I'm gonna go ahead and put one on the bucket and one on the other two implements for now out of four, and then I'll use it. We'll see how it works, and then I'll decide whether I wanna add more. So that's the plan. I tell you, that, uh, that unit there is just about ready for the trash heap. You guys ever have ever have tape measures like that? You hold on to them for I don't know what, and you end up just cursing them every time you use them? Well, that's that unit there.
All right, guys. Well, I ground off the spot I'm going to weld to, and I had to go ahead and grind off a spot on all these attachments where I'm going to hook the ground to. That's why you saw me doing two different grinding spots. Just going ahead and making sure I know the making sure I know the uh, the center here, using the old trusty tape again. And we'll make sure to get a right smack dab in the middle. And once again, I'm going back to the old faithful, which I really hate. Okay, perfect, good enough. Let's get those welded up. Just going ahead and cleaning up the edge of the hooks here. That way I know there's no uh, you know, oils on there or any coating they put on wherever these were made. That way it's a nice clean edge when I weld it to the nice clean steel. Spider on the inside of my welding helmet. Gosh. Gotta love that one. Ah, that's now gross on my... Try this one again. Too bad, we're definitely burning hot.
guess I should probably make sure I get these on right. Could you imagine welding this backwards? Wouldn't that be a treat? Got to think about this for a minute. As a good friend of mine once uh, told me, he said, you're going to become a better grinder before you're a better welder. And judging by that weld, I think he's telling the truth. a bit better I think we're gonna call that good for now I'm gonna end up having to rotate this grapple so that I can weld on the front side I think we're gonna head over to the forks
Well, guys, there we have it. We got three attachments here with three different chain hooks on there, and I think this is going to serve me well. One thing is for certain, if you can't weld, weld a lot, and that is definitely what I did. I had the amps up nice and high. I was burning nice and hot. One thing is for certain, that, that hook there is not coming off the attachment. Now, it's probably not going to win any awards, and I might just stay sort of this far away from the welds so you guys can't quite see it, but I will be getting a fresh grinding disc on there, uh, cleaning up the welds, and no one will know the difference. So appreciate all you guys being here. Next time around, we'll probably be back out there at the toy shed or the equipment shed behind me. And this stuff will probably be back out in the field doing some sort of work. So as always, you guys all take care. Be well. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time.